Hi, this is Sean. I am Vice President of Partner Success here at Everwash. Today, I wanted to talk about how your app works. You, the attendant, the people on the boots on the ground, selling and scanning memberships. I want to tell you how both of those work and how really simple they are, especially scanning. You may notice I'm wearing something a little different today. If you see my other videos, I'm wearing one of my favorite car wash hats, Mr. Car Wash. Uh, very cool. Uh, great car wash down in Baltimore. So shout out to them. Let's go ahead and get started. So as with anything else, if you're really new to this, you'll notice when you open our app, both you and our members, when you open up the app, if you're not logged in, it comes to the same tab, which gives you the opportunity to log in as an existing with an existing account or create a new account. So in this case, you as the attendance, you will always log in with an existing account. If you haven't received that account yet, please ask your manager or the owner of the car wash and we can get you those credentials. So when you log in, you will see this on the right. You will, some of you, if you are at an IBA, you may only see this one on the right here, which is sign up new member. You don't scan people, they scan the pay station to facilitate their car wash. Um, if you are at a tunnel or a car wash without a pay station, you will see the one on the left or a variation of the one on the left. So on the left, we have scan QR code, scan license plate, and sign up new member. If you don't have scan license plate, it is something we can enable, and then you can scan the license plate or the phone. So if someone doesn't have a phone, or they forget their phone, or they're driving some, you know, uh, their wife's car who has a membership, you can scan the license plate. So be sure to ask your manager or the owner of the car wash about that if you're unsure. So the first thing is scanning. It's very, very simple, but there are some very important key details to it. When you log in, someone drives up and you need to scan them. You will hit scan QR code in most cases. Sometimes you'll hit scan license plate. To go. We'll go into that. So you click on the scan QR code button. You can always tell who a member is because they're waving their phone out of the window like a crazy person. You point the camera of your phone after you hit scan QR code at their phone, and it immediately scans it. And then it pops up, very importantly, with the name of the package that they have, the membership package, gold, platinum, whatever. And then it asks you to confirm their vehicle. This is a hugely important step. It will say something like gold package. This is a black F-150. Is that correct? You have to hit yes or no. If the answer is yes, great. Thank you so much for coming. Hey, did you know you can add on additional vehicles at a discount? Or, hey, thank you so much for being a member. Did you know that if you get a friend to sign up, they get half off their first month and you get a $5 credit? So those are great upsells to say to someone and thank them for being a member. So you scan. It shows what their package is, asks you to confirm their vehicle. If they're not driving the right vehicle, they're not usually not trying to steal from you. They're just not thinking about it. They're thinking, hey, I'm in a dirty car. I have a membership. Let me utilize my membership to clean this car. And they're not thinking about it. So you simply say, sir, ma'am, I noticed this says you, you have a black F-150 as your membership vehicle. And I noticed you're driving a red Acura. Did you want to switch your membership to this vehicle? You can do that in the app. They say, no, oh, no, I'm sorry. This is my wife's car. I wasn't even thinking. Okay, great. Would you like to add this vehicle onto your membership at a discount? Or would you like to pay for a single wash today? It's simple. You don't have to worry about them getting upset at you. Um, I've never had it happen. I've never had someone be upset. They're usually embarrassed. Oh boy, I didn't, I wasn't even thinking, I'm sorry. So that's it. That's the entire scanning process. Point your phone at their phone. You scan it. It tells you what package they have. You then, you know what package it is. You go back to controller, put in their car wash and facilitate the wash. If you do want to scan their license plate, Whereas when you point your phone, when you hit scan QR code and point your phone at their phone, it scans their phone instantly. It does not do that with the scan license plate. But with the scan license plate, you hit the scan license plate button, you go point your camera at the license plate, and you need to hit the camera button. So you're pointing your phone at the license plate, you hit the, the camera snapshot button on the app, it takes a picture of it, um, and then it'll ask you the same thing. This is a black F-150 gold package, is that correct? Yes, facilitate the wash, okay? So scanning is very simple. If you have any issues, please give us a call. Now, selling, that's the other part. Selling is really, 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 really simple once you get practice, right? Walking was hard when you were a kid, right? When we were first learning to walk. Shooting a basketball is hard. Everything takes a minute or two to learn, uh, sometimes much longer for me. I probably walked while I was 12. Um, so 
these things take time. If it seems cumbersome to you, uh, if it seems difficult to you, maybe we're doing something wrong. So let's try it again. But with, I always say that if you get three sales uh, or you practice a bunch of times on your own, the physical sale, uh, it becomes very easy, very quick. This is something you should be doing. Even if you don't have a credit card reader, this should be something that takes you no longer than 30 seconds. Okay. So we've given a great pitch with our rack. The customer says, yes, I would love a membership. We say, great, I just need your credit or debit card. I'll get you signed up very quickly and send you an app and you'll be on your way. Great. They hand you their credit card. You click on the sign up new member. button. It then brings up the name of every attendant who works at your car wash. You click on your name. Today, I will be Joe. It then brings up every package that your car wash has. This screen is not for you. This screen is for your members, okay? It's for you to turn to them, show them. You said you wanted the Ultimate Plus, right? That's going to be $32.69 a month. That's it, right? The whole point of that screen is to tell them this is a recurring payment program that you're entering into, okay? I like to say a little bit more. Okay, sir, you said, or ma'am, you said you wanted the Ultimate Plus, right? It's going to be $32.69 each month on today's date, the 1st, uh, or the 16th, or whatever day it is. Uh, and that's the, the charge, the time you'll see the charge each month. That's the only charge you'll see from us. There are no fees. And remember, you can cancel at any time. So I'm sort of bringing some air back into the room and making sure they understand that they haven't just, you know, tied into a contract for four years. OK, they say yes. We click anywhere in the box that they want. It then brings up uh, one of two things. We're in the middle of a, of a transition. It either brings up the credit card screen for you to enter a credit card screen or your prompt for the credit card swiper, or it's going to first ask you for their name and email address, which looks like name and phone number rather, which looks like this. So maybe you get this first, you enter their name. Remember when we enter their name from the credit card or wherever it is cap, no capital letters, no capital letters, no middle initials, no middle names. So, my name is Sean Pashley. I usually have my middle name on my credit cards. You wouldn't do that. You would put in my first name, no capitals, space my last name, no capitals. You would then ask me for the phone number. Now, if you see this screen first, you put in their full name, you ask them for the phone number, you enter their phone number. There's a member consent button. The member consent is, is, is important, and we can address it very quickly. Here's how you address it with the customer. Sir, ma'am, I'm going to send you a text message, okay? Great. They say yes, you click this button here and it turns green, this toggle, okay? So name, phone number, toggle, and then you either hit submit payment or you hit done and move on to the next screen, which looks like this, and ask for the credit card, okay? So there's one or the other, we're in the middle of an update, okay? So you'll get one first. You'll either get the credit card first or you'll get the name and phone number first, okay? And eventually you'll always get the name and phone number first. You put in the full name, you put in the phone number, You'll check off the green toggle to send them a text. You'll hit next. It'll bring you to the credit card screen or the credit reader screen. You put in their credit card number or, or enter it into the swiper. And then you hit submit payment. Okay. It's that simple. So let's say we're going into new version. We hit this button for the ultimate plus. It is going to bring us to this screen. I take their credit card. I read their name off the back of their credit card, first name and last name, enter it. What's your phone number, sir or ma'am? Great. Hey, I'm going to send you a text message. Is that okay? Great. And then I hit the next button. The next button brings me to the credit card screen. I enter the, the credit card number. It, it automatically bounces over to the month and year, the cursor. If the cursor does not bounce over to the month and year, you've done something wrong. Don't force it. It won't work. If the credit card number turns red, do not look what you, for what you did wrong. Delete the entire number and start over. The reason being, you may have entered it correctly, and if you do it two or three times, we know that maybe that credit card or debit card doesn't work for us. There's been an instance in my career where someone gave me an ATM card, which is not a debit card. It's simply a card that allows you to access your ATM. The person gave me that card. I entered it three times. It wasn't working. I turned to the customer and said, I'm sorry it doesn't like this card because I never say, oh, this card is broken. You don't have enough money. I never say any of those things. I say the app doesn't seem to like this card. You have another, and he said, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize I gave him my ATM card. And he gave me his debit card, and we were fine. So if, if the number turns red, something's wrong, try it again a time or two, and then kindly ask the customer for another form of payment. 
So if everything goes well, you enter the credit card number in the line. It, it loves it. It bounces over to the month and year. You enter the two-digit month, two-digit year. It bounces over to the CVC on the back of the card. You enter those three digits and hit done. And at that point, it will take one to three seconds to process the payment. And then you'll see this screen. By the time you see this screen, you will go, great. Sir, I just bloop that quick. By the time you see it and turn to the customer to tell them they received the text message, they will already have received the text message. So I see this screen. I turn to the customer. Hi, sir, ma'am. You just bloop. There it is. I just sent you a text message. You're all set for today. When you get home, I don't need to run over your kittens or stop signs. When you get home and you're comfortable, follow that text message and it'll have you finish your sign up. It'll take you two minutes. Thank you and have a great day. I look forward to seeing you next time. That's the entire sign up process. Easy, right? So the app does two things, okay? It scans membership and you can sell membership on it. And when we sell a customer a membership, the entire point of sending them a text is that we don't want to back the line up. Our app is built for speed. That's why we don't use capital letters. That's why we don't use middle names. That's why we send people a text message. We want to be able to sell them a membership and have them quickly move through the line and finish the sign up when they go home before they come back next time. Okay. If they don't do that, we'll send them reminders and we'll help them remember to finish their sign up, which is very quick and easy. But lastly, sort of, it's just quick. They open up the text that we sent them. It asks for permission to download the app. They give it permission to download the app. While it's downloading, it asks them for their email address and asks them to create a password. They do that. The app finishes downloading and it looks just like you see here. A big blue button that says log in with the existing account. They hit that and then it asks them to log in. They put in the email and the password they just created. Then it asks them for the make, model, color, and license plate of their car. They put those in and they're done. That is the entire sign up process. I will tell you a, a, a failure point. Sometimes people click on the text message, it begins downloading, they put in their email address, they create a password, then it finishes the download, comes to this screen on their app, and instead of hitting login with an existing account, they hit create new account. So now they're stuck in a loop, right? So if someone ever comes to you and says that they have a problem with the sign up, that's most likely what happened. If they go so far with it, they could create another account. But that means they would have had to take another credit card out or their credit card and put it in again. Um, so if that happens, please ask them to give us a call on our support or in-app message with us or email us, and we'll be glad to take care of it. But if they're having issues, tell them to log back out, log in with an existing account, use their email and their password, and that should fix the issue. Thank you for your time today. There's lots more videos here on YouTube if you need to learn anything. There's videos on the pitch. Frequently asked questions, um, new attendant training, advanced sales tactics webinars, all sorts of stuff on here. So if you need some help uh, and you feel like these videos aren't helping you, my name is Sean. That's S-E-A-N at everwash.com. You can reach out to me anytime. I'd be glad to help.